Hey guys, I'm Evangelon and I'm a full-time artist. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I transform this empty room into an art studio. And I'll also be making a watercolor study from one of my favorite masters self-portrait. So, we just renovated our house completely and extended two floors up. So, basically, a year and a half ago, I planned to start a YouTube channel and to have a home-based art studio by this time. I've already had these things with me, so there's nothing new here. I'll be just filling the space with the existing stuff that I already own. Thank you. 
these are actually the original paintings i did recently um i couldn't record the process because we were like literally in the middle of the construction site your body go hungry heart it's not easy to start over i've been there a couple of times starting over no the when the night comes over you rest is in deep you will shed that skin oh like a long run up here just stay study that I'm doing right now is a self-portrait of the artist himself 
in his studio looking at the viewer which is us and at the world with his piercing gaze in which he says he only paints what he sees that he is a recording eye but it was also referring back to the self-portrait by Velasquez and Las Meninas. Velasquez inspired him so much in which he took various resources to use in this work, which includes the depth of the space stretching back behind him with a carefully studied composition. And he has done a very painterly impressionistic brush strokes. When I first saw this painting, I thought it was the cotton box at the background. But just before I began to paint, I wanted to confirm what it was. It was actually a studio, and those were the backside of the canvases placed against the wall. I didn't know this before, but if you have watched my video from the beginning, you would have noticed that I did the same while I was organizing my studio. Soroya used these to justify himself as a painter. He has used the traditional darker palette of Spain's Golden Age. But we all know that he is named for us, you know, people and landscapes under the bright, bright sunlight. He is like literally the master of capturing light. I know his older works has a few darker palettes, but this portrait especially was so much inspired by Velasquez. Later in his lifetime, he was also inspired by the artists of his time, like John Singer Sargent and Monet. You could actually see in his other works, if you're like ever stuck, or if you don't know what to draw or paint, just study from the masters. It's really important. Just like we study from Saroya or John Singer's origin, they did it too. They studied from their old masters. And this master portrait that I did is a very perfect example.